loves, and welcome to another amazing story time with Budwig. <laughs> How much fun did we have yesterday? Oh, Carl. Oh, Christina, buddy, loves you, and you love her. Oh my goodness, we love you too, Carl. Oh my goodness, we're so excited to have Carl in another visit with us today. How cool is that? What? What a great way to tip off celebration of Bug Week. And yesterday, we had so many amazing, cool facts, didn't we, guys? We had some really cool facts shared about each one of our bugs in our story yesterday. Creepy Crawly Calypso, which was amazing. And then we ended our buggy facts with a bug that wasn't in our book, but a bug that we're going to see this Thursday airing our gardening video. What the bumblebee for World Bumblebee Day. How cool is that? What? <laughs> so today, my loves, we are going to continue with the buggy goodness. As I said it, buggy goodness. Right, Carl? Right, Christina? Because we are going to honor this dude right here, Mr. Carl. And he is truly amazing. We are going to honor you, buddy, right? By telling everybody all about the cool facts of spiders. What? Cool facts of spiders. We learned some yesterday in our story, but we're going to learn a lot more today. Are you excited? Who's excited? <laughs> I'm totally excited. Are you excited out there, my boss? Oh, my goodness. So much fun. So today in our book, we are going to celebrate you, Carl, and all your amazing species of spiders. What? And Carl's giving another shout out to Angel and Valentina. What? He heard you had this book too, my loves. So he wants to give you a shout out too today. All right, Mr. Carl, you want to sit down and enjoy your story time with all of us together? All right, buddy. I'll put you right here. Good job. All right, my love. So today... <clears throat> We have the amazing book continuing our buggy week, The Spider. What? Part of the Disgusting Critters series by Elise Gravel. And I have to tell you, <clears throat> right, Christina? We've read a lot in this series by Elise Gravel, and they are super, super cool. Great for easy readers when you're beginning to read large print really awesome facts about each creature in these books and also a fun story to go along with it. Edutainment! What? It's amazing. So I really encourage everyone to check out this at your local library, at our library, because I know we have several in the collection. We have the worm and in the back of our book here today, you're going to also see all of her amazing, amazing books in the series called Disgusting Critters. There's the worm, we've read the worm, we've read the toad, we've read the rat, we've read the slug. They're all so super awesome. Elise Gravel, you're amazing. These are so much fun and so informative. They're great. So let on that note, let's dive into our story today, The Spider. And let's give a big howdy. If I were the spider, I, I was trying to think of how it would sound. And I think, what, howdy? <laughs> Elise Gravels, The Spider. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, your applause, please, as we welcome your friend, The Spider. What? Hi there. What? <laughs> now, here's a cool fact. There are over 40,000 species of spiders. They can live in almost any cool environment, in cold climates, in warm climates, yo le on mountaintops, underground, doo -doo. underwater, but not in outer space. Darn it! <laughs> now, since she has eight legs, can we count those together? <clears throat> Arachnids, spiders have eight legs. Sometimes they can lose those legs and have less legs. And, you know, but very rarely. But she has eight legs, and let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? And it's considered the spider an insect. Insects only have six legs, really. But our spider has eight. Maybe not, but I'm so pretty in princess shoes. What? You go, girl. <laughs> Now, most spiders have poisonous fangs in their mouth. What? Four 
four pairs of eyes. What? The better to see you with, my dear. I need a lot of eye shadow. Now, spiders produce silk. And a cool fact we learned yesterday about spiders, right, Christina? Right, Carl? We learned that spider silk is super, super powered because it's stronger and tougher than steel. How cool is that? What? Now, they can spin spiders with their abdomens, meaning their tummy. They spin the spider webs from their stomach. What? That is super cool. Their silk can be used for many things, for building webs. Yahoo! As they swing from web to web, as a means of transportation, to protect their eggs. They use their spider silk to protect their eggs. And to create webs that trap air so they can breathe underwater. How cool is that? Who knew spiders created webs with their silk that they can create webs so much they can be a bubble to protect them underwater? How cool is that? We also make really handsome ties. What? That's pretty amazing. I did not know that happened. Spiders mostly eat other insects. What? They have many different ways of catching their prey. Some use sticky net as a trap. Others jump on their prey, and some catch their prey with a lasso. yee That is a really cool fact. You know, if you have a spider in your house, that could be a little, that could be really cool because they can help eat all those buggies that may not be so good. Like they eat mosquitoes, they eat other things, other insects that may not be so good or hurt our plants or flowers. So yay, spiders. Thank you. Some spiders even mimic their prey to make it easier to sneak up on them. What? There's a burger. <clears throat> he doesn't suspect a thing. What? She dressed up like a burger. What? <laughs> that was super funny. What? In many spider species, the female is bigger than the male. What? It makes dancing a little awkward for sure. What? Wow, that's so super cool. Now, the female spider can lay up to a thousand eggs. What? They can lay up to a thousand eggs? That's amazing. That's a lot of eggs. She wraps them up in her silk purse and carries them around with her. Cute purse, huh? I can also keep my lipstick in here. What? That's amazing. Now, some mother spiders carry the baby spiders on their backs until the babies are old enough to defend themselves against other creatures that may want to eat them. And then the baby spiders always yell on the back of mama's back, are we there yet? Mom, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Wait a minute, I have one more question. Are we there yet? <laughs> now, people are often afraid of spiders. But most spiders are not dangerous. Let's repeat that again, right, Christina? Most spiders are not dangerous, so they will not harm you. They're not dangerous to humans. In fact, spiders have much more reason to be scared of us, right? Because they're super duper, some of them are super duper tiny. And we're so big that they get more scared of us and we get frightened of them. Yee! As they run away from the little girl. Oh, no, because she's, she's so tall and they're tiny. The spider can be helpful since she eats other insects. And we talked about how important that is. Some of the spiders we know, they eat other insects that can hurt our plants, our flowers. They can hurt other things. Mosquitoes. She can get rid of annoying ones like mosquitoes and flies. What? Thank you, spider, for getting rid of mosquitoes and flies. Yay, shoe fly don't bother me. Super spider to the rescue! Now, so the next time you, my loves, meet a spider, just shake her hand. Uh-oh, which one? Ha, 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 because they have eight legs, so we want a little spider. Little spider, hello, spider. Or go like this, gentle, gentle, hello, spider. Thank you, Elise Gravel. Oh, my goodness, how amazing was this book? Did you really love our book too? <laughs> Did it tell you what? What? Did it tell you cool things about spiders? And were some of those facts were, were those true facts about those are really true facts about spiders, weren't they? 
And when you meet a spider, what do we do? Should we shake your hand? Mm-hmm. If it's small enough, and be gentle, right? And if we see a spider, maybe we want to take in the house, maybe we want to gently put them outside so they can enjoy the earth, right? And get rid of, rid of mosquitoes and flies, right? Oh, and Carl gives you all a big thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Carl. How about we sit down here and wait for a craft today? So today, my loves, we have our amazing, amazing craft all in honor of Carl today. <clears throat> our spider puppet. What? Coming at you. <laughs> now, our spider puppet. Now, my loves, first of all, before we get into our craft today, if you have any super cool comments about spiders, or if you have a story about a spider, or you have a bug that you really want to share a cool fact about, share it in our comments today, my loves, because we want to hear all about it. Share it today, or whenever you watch story time at all, this week or this weekend, share it. We want to learn all we can about bugs, because you know what? The more we learn, the less we become a little fearful of each other. And the more we learn, the more we figure, hey, that's really super cool to know about. And you're really super cool. Now that we learn more about you, we took the time to do that. So you know what? Today we have our crafty, what in honor of Carl, our spider, our amazing spider craft. Now Miss Mel's going to show you some materials you're going to need for this. Now we have a link. We have several links up there today for you. In our Facebook Live video today, we have the first link, which is going inspired us to make this today. So if you have paper at home, some regular paper, and you're going to need probably the back of that cereal box, or like Miss Mill says, the pasta box, or cardstock if you have it at home, or a cracker box, because we're going to take our regular paper or construction paper today. Miss Mill used construction paper, but if you have regular paper, you can color it black like a spider. And we're going to make a circle. Now, how are we going to trace that circle onto our paper? Well, after you call, after you tra when you trace your circle onto your paper, my love, whether it be construction paper or our uh, regular paper, we're going to color in black like our spider. We're going to use Miss Mel used a teacup saucer. But you can use a bowl. You can use, what else? You can use a piece of Tupperware or a lid of a bowl or a dish. And you know what you do? You just put that on your piece of paper and you trace around that bowl or plate or lid and it's going to make a circle. Now what Miss Mel also did is she took the back of some cardstock and she made a circle on another piece of cardstock or like Miss Mel said, you can make that circle, right Christina? On your cereal box, your, your cracker box, your pasta box and you can put that on the back of the circle that you make. So it just has a little sturdiness when you use it as a puppet. Now, what I use to trace circles for my fingers, what? <laughs> now, you're going to need some extra help with this, my loves, because you're going to use scissors, and you're going to have to get help from your parents to help you cut those holes out for your fingers, because that's a little more detailed, my loves. So, what we did to make the tracing for this, we used whatever size your fingers are, you can use a dime a nickel, or a quarter. And you can use those to trace, place those on where your holes, and you can use those to trace the holes for your four fingers. So you're gonna start with your pinky, and then go all the way up to almost your thumb. And these are gonna be, after you trace these holes, you're gonna get to cut them out with your parents, my loves. And then what we did was we used, I think we used, what did we use for this one, Christina? Did we use a quarter? I think we used a nickel or a quarter to trace on regular paper our eyes, white eyes for our spider. And then we have some of our cardstock left over, so we use that to trace a mouth for our spider. Isn't that cool? So use a, a nickel or a quarter to trace with your parents the eyes for our spider. And then we just took a black marker and we colored in little dots for the middle of our eyes for our spider. Now, my loves, to complete this craft today, and now I know our link, our first link, inspired this craft today and uses pipe cleaners. So you can either use pipe cleaners, you could use popsicle sticks for legs if you want, if you don't have a printer at home, or we are sharing a spider leg template that Miss Mel made for all of you right after story time today. So you can print that off straight from home, color it in all your leggies, and then tape or glue them right onto the back of your spider. How cool is that? So look out for that template today shared 
from our spider leg template that we made, and then you can make your own spider puppet. Carl, inspired by you and the 40,000 species of spiders that we learned about today in our book. What? How cool is that, my loves? Have a super fun time making this today, my loves, or this weekend, or this week, whenever you make it. Ms. Mel and Christina Bunny want to see your projects. So if you have the projects you completed, please share them in our comments today. So super cool. Uh, we love to see you complete our crafts and see what fun you had with them. And how you made them, because everybody makes their awesome, awesome crafts differently. And it's so super cool to see what different things you use. Because in many of the crafts you've made, and especially our STEM crafts, everyone has always shared different things that they've used material-wise. And that is so creative. So it gives other ideas to everyone else watching about what you also use to make your amazing craft with. So not only are we going to share our spider leg template for all of you to enjoy today, my loves, but we are also going to share our book recommendations, our Wednesday children's book recommendations, what? Real stories and fun stories, not so real fun stories about buggies. They're awesome. We come up with an amazing collection that a lot, right, Christina, are our favorites each week that we share after story time every Wednesday. So check them out, my loves, and all these books you can pick up at our libraries to curbside pickup, and they're so super cool. Please check them out. They're amazing, and you learn some really cool facts along the way. So super cool. And if you learn something from the books you get out, or if you check out any of these books or a curbside pickup, please let us know, because we want to know. We want to know how much fun you had with them. Now, also in our links today, we have three links in our Facebook Live video today. The first link we did our craft with today. The second link... If you got inspired by our first craft, we sent you another link in our Facebook Live video today of some more not-so-scary spider crafts that you can make, because I know there are a lot of you who are fans of spiders, my loves, so we did that extra special for all of you, my loves. And also, we have an amazing National Geographic spider video for you, for kids, very kid-friendly. So, you know what, we watched it, and it was so super cool. We learned so many new things about spiders. It's short, it's kid-friendly, and it's a read aloud because National Geographic is absolutely amazing. They created a whole series on animals of easy readers books for about animals. And they're, they're on spiders, they're on polar bears, every, every animal you can think about. And this is a National Geographic read aloud just for us. So it's, it's, it's almost like a story time within a story time. It's amazing. So check that out, my loves. You're going to have super fun time with that. Next week... We are celebrating babies! We love our babies so much! We love all our kiddos and so super tiny babies! Baby animals, baby, baby babies! Baby, baby, babies! <laughs> so we love everything baby. So my loves, we are celebrating with some cutie patootie baby story times next week and some awesome crafts along the way. So please check us out next week, next Tuesday and Wednesday, my loves. And we are going to have super fun time. And remember, Thursday, we air our gardening video, our favorite gardening video that we did that we absolutely love. We're sharing it again with you this Thursday, my love. So check it out and give a congrats and welcome those bees for World Bee Day on Thursday. All right, my loves, have a great day. We love you all so much. Have a wonderful, super fun day and a great weekend.